Hi, I'm Ruby and we're on the Level 3 Fashion Business and Retail course. Today we're going to be talking about some of our previous projects. We hope you enjoy. So, um, in our course we do different projects about um, different aspects of fashion. So some of these include buying, visual merchandising, marketing, and then there's lots more that we go into. So we thought we'd just um, talk to you a bit about our projects and what we do in the Fashion Retail Academy. Um, so how our projects kind of work is we have a lot of different folders. A lot of our projects are all coursework based, which means we don't have exams, which is a big benefit of coming here. And yeah, so we've got different folders. We've got our research folder, our deliverables folder, and then our bibliography and our weekly journals. Um, do you want to kind of explain what those yeah. are? Yeah, so um, deliverables are the different tasks that you do. So you might do like a trend board, a mood board, a range plan, different things like that. Your research folder is between primary research and secondary research. Primary research is really fun because you can go like out and different trips. Yeah, like we went to like trips such as like Selfridges and then also like exhibitions yeah. like um, Kensington Palace. And Chanel like exhibition is where we went last week, which yeah. was really fun. Um, but even like shopping is primary research, yeah. <laughs> which is always really good. And secondary research is more about things that you find online. So with um, resources such as WGSN, Edited and other things like that. Yeah, that bit is a, can sometimes include like numbers as well. So you might be looking at like statistics and kind of like databases, which can be sometimes quite tiring, but it's still interesting. And then the bibliography is just a little document about where you got your resources from in your project, just to um, like talk about, like just to prove that you, like you didn't steal the yeah. work. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically just to show that like where you're getting your resources from, like your research is backed up and it is kind of real. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Have you talked through weekly journals? Um, no. So yeah. weekly journals, people post them on Instagram or they just keep them in their projects. And it's just about how you um, found the week, what you've done, and if there's anything you need to improve on. Yeah, like just to what see what went your, good and what went bad. Yeah, just to see how you're getting on in the project and how you improved. Yeah, a lot of people do these on Instagram. So you might like yeah. see like, I don't know, Ruby at FRA yeah. or whatever. And that's basically just people's you weekly journals. On yeah, I yeah. do them on Instagram. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how our projects work and it's laid out like that just so it's obviously easier and you can kind of keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. But now we're going to get into our projects and like how we found them and stuff. So yeah. we started with project 1A. This was our first project at the FRA, yeah. which was a bit nerve wracking. Yeah, it was very different because I don't know about your school, but my school, we didn't. I didn't really do any coursework, only a little bit here and there. Yeah, but same. it was mainly exams. Yeah, so coming into an environment where it's 100% coursework. It was very different. Yeah. yeah. So our first project was called Fashion Fundamentals and it was basically just like a background into fashion because I feel like when you're coming here, obviously you don't know anyone before, so you don't know who's had experience in fashion and like what everyone knows. So this was kind of just like going through like the timeline of fashion. Um, we had three deliverables on this one. So it was quite a short project. It was only four weeks. Yeah. But... It, yeah, just how did you find e it? it eased us into it quite nicely, I think, because yeah. it wasn't too like nerve wracking. You just like because everyone knows different things about fashion. Everyone's from like different schools, yeah, and things like that. So starting fresh with everyone was really nice. So yeah, as I was saying, we had three deliverables on this one, and the first deliverable was a just a fashion timeline, really. Yeah. Um, and this was kind of based towards as well like the use of technology, because nowadays obviously a lot of like online shopping. Um, advertisements are all online so it was kind of focusing into that um, and just yeah giving you a background yeah. and then the second deliverable can you remember what it is no it so, was quite a while ago yeah now. the second deliverable we had to do a five minute video on a brand of our choice and we yeah. had to like go to whatever shop you wanted so what did you choose I went to the O2 because it has like an outlet and I thought that was quite interesting because it's near to me I like, I know it quite well and I just talked about like what you can do there, like what you can eat, what you can, uh, activities, in the arena, for example, and even the shopping, it was quite Yeah, I there. remember when we did that video, we were, because this was like, obviously we'd only known each other for like two weeks at yeah. this point. So I remember we were all like stressing out, like, because it's just a bit nerve wracking. It's like, you don't yeah. know each other and you're kind of talking about all this work that you aren't yeah. used to. Um, I did Selfridges just because 
I don't know why I chose Selfridges. I think, again, it's just one of those places that literally have everything. They've got food, they've got yeah. clothes, they've got everything you can do there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed that deliverable. I thought yeah, it was quite Yeah, that fun. was my favourite deliverable. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last deliverable, we had to do a interview with like a Gen X or Baby Boomers, I think it's called. I think, yeah, it was meant to be Gen X, but... And baby boomers you could do as well. Yeah. So who did you interview? I interviewed my mum. And it was really funny because you just like see as well like how different it was. Like if you know yeah. what I mean? Like you don't realise how much it's kind of like moved on. Like the yeah. fashion industry. Like she was saying all the trends at the time and it's just a bit weird. Yeah, when it? I had done my mum, she was telling me that like Oxford Street on a Saturday was so busy. Yeah. But now like everyone shops online. So it's just nice to see how different it's changed. Yeah. Like, like to, to say. Yeah. So how did you find that project all together, was it? I think it was a really good project. Like, yeah. Project 1A was a nice starter. And I think also that's kind of when you're making your friends. So I think, again, yeah. they didn't want you to do loads of work because they just wanted you to, to make sure you set went. Yeah, and at the FRA, it's like, everyone has the same, like, interest of fashion. So, like, we made friends quite nicely, I yeah. think, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. So moving on to Project 1B, so this kind of went with Project 1A, but it was a separate kind of folder yeah. you know what I mean um and this was called uh, fast fashion slows down yeah fast yeah. fashion slows down so this was a visual merchandising project so this was like our first kind of focused in project into one sector of fashion and yeah, it was visual merchandising and we worked with a charity shop which is called trade yeah if you don't know of trade they've got um 12 stores around London and they kind of like focus on like textiles yeah. was it yeah like the fabrics and things yeah like basically that. just making sure that like textile workers are like being treated fairly and stuff. Yeah, and the garment workers. Um, so yeah, this one had five deliverables. Five or seven, I think. Yeah, it was it seven, was more it was deliverables, seven. but so it wasn't, it wasn't as many deliverables much. as now. Yeah, so it was seven deliverables, and these are basically what was our actual project given? Because it was given by the charity shop Trade. So we were told to redesign trades like visual merchandising because they had visual merchandising. But it wasn't like when we first started the project. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of trade no, before. No, neither. I've never heard of them. Yeah, I've seen like the bins that they have here and there. Yeah, because they I have didn't textile know, bins. Yeah, I didn't know who they were, what they were about and things like that. Yeah, same. I I haven't heard of them. But again, I feel like with charity shops, it's really hard to market them properly because yeah. they don't... It's not like it's all brand new clothes and it's all kind of the same vibe. They have loads of different vibes yeah, there. Different like men's wear, women's wear, yeah. kids, books, everything. They have everything in so, there. Yeah, we were given the task to basically redesign like what their stores were going to look like, um, what their window displays were going to look like. I wasn't, I didn't know a lot about visual merchandising before. Yeah. So I wasn't like crazy about this project. Um, yeah. But then when I got into it, I did start to like it I a feel, lot more. Yeah, I feel like at the end of the project, we, we're like experts of visual merchandising. Yeah. <laughs> when we first started, we were like, oh. I had no idea yeah. what it was. But then now I feel like we'd know how to do it. And we'd done like customer profile boards for them. So we got to like Yeah, this get was like the first, them. I feel like this was the first project where you actually got to kind of put in your own, like, own it, bit yeah. of yourself. Because we had to pick like our target audience, like what kind of customer we were going to go for. Kind of all that like all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it was just a lot more enjoyable because you was kind very of, creative. Yeah, you got to put in what you enjoyed. Yeah. Um so yeah, my target audience was like 15 to 25 year old. Yeah. Of yours was quite similar, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, mine was um 18 to 30 year olds. I think what was so good about that project as well is like when you come here, you think all your projects are just going to be like high-end fashion yeah. or you're going to be working with like big brands and of course trade is a big brand, but it was just better because you actually get to see why fashion is kind of bad to the environment. Yeah. And you kind of just got to see a different aspect on it, which you you could be working in on the future. Like, you don't know what you're going to be doing in the future. Yeah. But that's the good thing about the FRA. Like, you do, like, right now we're doing a Chanel project. Yeah. So that's very high end. And then, like, a few, like, like mar last month we were doing um, trade. So yeah. it's, like, it's a big difference. But... You learn all different aspects of the fashion industry yeah. and how each brand works and like things like that. So Yeah, so should we move on to project two? Yeah. So project two is we're doing a buying project, buying and merchandising with Chanel, which is obviously really exciting. Like yeah. They're literally one of the biggest brands in the world. <laughs> um, and again, I didn't know a lot about buying and merchandising before. Before I came to the FRA, I knew I either kind of wanted to go into marketing or buying and merchandising. Yeah. But I wasn't really, I didn't really know a lot about buying. I just thought, oh, that looks fun. Looks yeah. Yeah. Cool, like I might want to do it um so yeah we're doing that with Chanel and do you want to explain kind of what they've been given like 
What's yeah, so we were us? tasked to um, choose a high um, street like brand um, or like a brand of our choice that would collaborate with Chanel um, to make a capsule collection. Um, so I decided to do Odd Muse because they focus on like not fast fashion and um, like different things like that. And they have lots of like timeless pieces. So I thought them and Chanel would go really well together. Yeah, Who did you I choose, chose, um, Theory. I, you might have not heard of them. They're kind of owned by Uniqlo, but they're like yeah. the higher kind of price section of Uniqlo. Yeah. Um, and again, they do very like timeless pieces. They don't have a lot on their website. It's very much like a pair of black trousers, white top, white blazer, black blazer. Yeah. Like it's very, very simple. But I thought that's why it would go so well with um, Chanel because it is yeah, kind definitely. of it hasn't got a lot of stuff to it yeah and Chanel obviously is quite a timeless brand so I feel like you do need to pick something that kind of has the same yeah because we have like so many different like even in our class like we have so many different brands but they're all like working with Chanel because the different aspects of it yeah and like some people doing like active wear like literally you can do anything that's yeah like, that's the thing with this project like obviously our teacher's going to say to us if they think a brand's not going to work, they're going to tell us. But there's so many different ways you could go into it. Like you yeah. could do active wear, men's wear, women's wear, kids, whatever you want. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. We've got 10 deliverables on this one. Yes, yeah, so it's so quite yeah. a big one. Yeah, this is quite a big one. And we've got 10 weeks to do this. So it's kind of like a week for each deli- deliverable. Yeah. Um, but again, sometimes you're not on a deliverable for the whole week. Like you could just be on it for one day and then you move to the next one. So yeah. it's quite a quick pace project. Yeah, but that's what I like about like all the coursework because yeah, when you're doing it, you're focusing on that. Yeah. Like with like exams, I don't know about you, but I was like, okay, I'll do an hour of English, an hour of maths, etc. Yeah. But with this, I'm like, okay, I've got this deliverable to do, and then we'll and I've got the, the research one. to go with it. Once it's done, I'll move on to the next one. Yeah. So that's like quite it's, good. It's really good because you can just kind of. It, and also your teacher like keeps track of you like they'll tell yeah. you like what you need to get done for next week yeah you know what I mean it's, it's we have checkpoints every three weeks so yeah so our t- teacher comes over and like talk, sits us down and talks to us through everything and then they'd like ask us oh why did you choose that yeah and then it, like just helping us like that as well and yeah along with this project we've also been doing like a couple so we went to the Chanel exhibition yeah. I think we said that earlier but we went to the VNA to go to the Chanel, Chanel exhibition which yeah. again was really really good like we got to see all of the classic Chanel pieces yeah and that really helped me with my project because I kind of got to see like what could be included in my collection yeah and then we also today we had a talk with a buyer from River Island yeah who does River, River Island's menswear and she's like a junior buyer I think it is yeah and I think all these things are just really helpful because it kind of gives you like yeah. an idea of what it could be like working in that sector yeah and in the industry talk today she was talking about the different roles in buying and what you have to take um in count our um so yeah that was really interesting and there was lots of like questions being asked yeah so even like things like that and also I wanted to mention the comp shop that we've done yeah we that went, was really fun yeah we went to um like central London and like went to our stores and went to our competitors stores yeah if you don't know what a comp shop is it basically is just you're going around to like let's say my um, brand is theory competitors of my brand could be like cause our care and other stories so yeah. you go around to all these shops and you look at what they have to offer and like yeah what materials they have in their clothes stuff like that yeah um and yeah we got to go around shopping basically well, not shopping yeah. but you know what i mean but we could like feel the materials and like see the inside of it yeah and then like see that like in person is very good and all of that obviously goes into our primary research folder yeah. which kind of links back to the project so yeah, yeah. it's really helpful because you just get to see yeah kind of what you could put in your collection and stuff yeah um, so what was your favorite project and why so far it's gonna have to be the Chanel one we haven't yeah. finished it yet we're only we're on deliver- deliverable seven out of ten so I can't really say it's my favorite yeah but at the moment it's my favorite like yeah. I just love it I think it's so cool um I feel like even if we were doing another brand like let's say we were working with H&M for this project yeah. I think I'd still love it just because I knew I wanted I liked buying but when you're actually doing it you just it's so much better isn't yeah, it yeah definitely because I, I agree with you like the Chanel one's one of my favorites I, I can't pick there's yeah. so many different aspects of it so before we done the project I didn't really know much about buying yeah. when I came to the FRA I was like okay I want to do marketing like I'm really enjoying marketing um and then we like learned about buying I was like I actually like this so I'm between buying and marketing now but doing these projects like teaches you things about like the fashion industry that you wouldn't really know yeah definitely yeah but my 
favorite would probably be probably the first one because it was like a new um like it's fresh new experience, start yeah, yeah new experience and like you start fresh no exams and that was really good but also like learning about all these different things yeah like all the different fashion industries but yeah, I'd probably say Chanel is my favourite because it taught me about the buy-in. Yeah. I like trade because of, like, how free it was, like yeah. how creative you could be. And, and then the first one was just, just really... Just because it yeah, was fun. It was just all exciting. you were meeting new people yeah. and stuff. Um, but, yeah, do you have any, like, highlights as well? I know we've kind of already talked about, like, the trips that we went on, but, like, yeah. any certain highlights? I think one of our highlights was when we went to Brighton for the day. Oh, yeah. Um, with... Uh, during our trade project yeah yeah. so um I don't know if you know but like Brighton is very like there's lots of charity shops and lots of different things like vintage shops vintage shops and also like we at that in that project we had to kind of focus on advertising as well like how trade's going to stand out from other charity shops and like in Brighton obviously it's very bright there they've got like a lot of yeah you know so we saw like lots of like Brighton's competitors not Brighton's (laughs) trade's competitors um, which was really good because you could see because they were all kind of on like one strip. Yeah, and it was just a really nice day. And we had really like yeah, a lot of I fun d- with our friends. Yeah, exactly. I think also that was like oh, I think that must have been like a month after we started here. Yeah, so at that October. point you kind of had your friends, and it was just nice because yeah. it was like the first thing that you were doing all together. Yeah, but even like the coach ride then we were with like our yeah. whole class. That was, it was really fun. Yeah. yeah, um, and also I feel like like this isn't really to do with the projects, but. <laughs> Just the friends that we've made here has been really good. Like, yeah. you wouldn't, I would never have met these people no, I know. if I didn't come here. Like, yeah. for example, we live and like two hours away from each other or whatever. Yeah. So I think it's just nice that you get to meet people from like all different areas. Yeah, like we've got like a nice friendship group growing. Yeah. Um, and then we're like, we're with, like, we text all the time. But like, even like our class is just like gelled really well because even though you're in two days a week, you are with them people from nine o'clock till 5 p.m. Yeah. So it is quite a long time. Yeah, definitely. And like, it's not like in secondary school or like other like sixth forms where you're changing classes. Yeah, you're not doing like that. Like with one teacher, one class. Yeah, and also our teacher's so nice. Like, yeah. She's lovely. Um, she really helps us with all the work and like any questions we have, she'll always help us. Yeah. But yeah. And then, um, yeah, the trips, the, <laughs> just everything really. So thank you for listening to this podcast. And we hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.